So there were sanctioned introductions of exotic species, namely the cold water trout, that lasted about 100 years. But this breeding being the last 10 or 15 years when warm water fish, aquatic plants, and most recently invertebrates have started to spread around the lake. This is something that has the potential to dramatically change Lake Tahoe as we know it. Today what we're seeing are a lot of passively transported species. Boats coming in from other waterways can carry these invasive species with them and deposit them in the lake. These invasive or non-native species are referred to as hitchhikers. The Asian clams that we have in Lake Tahoe in some ways are a precursor to other species that could end up here. The quagga mussel has invaded Lake Mead in 2007. Within a two-year period, Lake Mead has become completely overrun with quagga mussels. It's already impacting the water conveyance there. They have to shut down the Hoover Dam a couple times a year to clean out all the mussels. If it got here and if it was able to reproduce and spread, it would completely dominate the native ecosystem here. Pretty much everybody would find themselves affected. Whether you just hang out on the beaches, you'll find that the dead shells wash up on the beach. When they rot, it's a terrible smell. They have really sharp shells, and they end up cutting feet and hands, and it's not so comfortable to hang out on anymore. We also have things like Eurasian milfoil, which is beginning to clog many of the marinas uh, and provide an unnatural habitat for many other forms. And so what we are doing is really changing the whole ecology of the Lake Tahoe Basin. The other type of introduction that's occurring today are warm water fish species like bass and bluegill. They are preying upon the same species that the native fish would typically eat them. And they're also preying upon native fishes. The best thing Tahoe has going for it is that the entire basin is aware of this problem. I'm going to take a look around the outside and the back real quick. We have already in place outstanding ways of trying to detect the organisms before they enter the Tahoe Basin. By supporting this and being diligent ourselves when we come and visit Tahoe is the best hope we have for keeping these species out.